right guys so we're just gonna do a quick update on what has been happening so this was the original motherboard i had which was the gigabyte z390d and this is the one i've gone for now which is the msi mpg z390 gaming pro carbon so let me explain the differences slightly um they both do 24 pci express lanes however some of you might say um well why do they need to do 24 pci express lanes when gen 8 and gen 9 intel processors only do a maximum of i think uh, 16. well first of all other stuff that's plugged into the motherboard so you know um you might do i don't know randomly a sound card usb ports um uh, uh, ssd those might use pci express lanes as well to obviously be faster so even though the motherboard supports up to 24 pci express lanes the cpu the intel 8th gen and 9th gen which these which both these boards support will only do 16 pci express lanes i might have an issue later on down the road but i have a mini solution for that so the reason i'm moving away from the gigabyte to the msi was that even though the gigabyte can do 18 um sorry 16 lanes when I plug my 3060s into this, it doesn't work. The first slot does 16 or 8. The second slot is just stuck at 4 for some reason. Even though in the BIOS by configuration, it does say it can do 884, it doesn't do 884. Or even 880 would have been fine because I have two 3060s, right? But it doesn't do that. So this msi board now i've gone and i've checked the specs i've checked the data sheet even though i did that for this one and this one should give me 884 if obviously the um the board can support that so the 23060s should work perfectly fine on this one now the issue i might run into later on is i do want to get other graphics cards to actually mine more stuff so i don't actually know if it's going to work with more graphics cards with the two 3060s. What I might have to do is actually just do one 3060 and do PCI Express 1 for everything else. Because the one 3060 can run at 8, so I'll still have 8 lanes free. And I can do, what's that, up to 5, I don't know, 3070s then or 5700 XT or 67, what, whichever other graphics card I need to run. I can run those at 1 XP because the only graphics card that needs... Um, an ATEX lane to work is on um, the 3060. So let me quickly explain the 3060 hack and how it works, right? So with the 3060 hack, a few things need to be in place. One, the first thing is that you need a PCI Express 16 lane, as in the physical size needs to be the big one, not the smaller 1X one, but the bigger one. That's one thing. Another thing, you have to have that piece, that big PCI Express lane running at a minimum of 8x. So the speed need needs to be 8x or 16. It cannot be 4, it cannot be 1. It has to be a minimum of 8. The third thing, you have to have it plugged into a monitor. Um, there are ways around this. This is one of the ways around that. So this is a, well, Furon. That's the brand. I just randomly chose these off Amazon. And essentially what they do, you plug this into your graphics card. And as you can see, there's no H... Let me un unbox this one. I think I have an open one. One sec. So this is what it looks like here. It doesn't have an output going out. So essentially what this will do, this will plug into your graphics card and it will trick it into thinking it's plugged into a monitor. And the way it does that, I'm assuming it simply closes a circuit. So... There is a, a circuit that goes from, well, a switch essentially that goes from your graphics card through the monitor and back around to your graphics card, right? And this will actually close that loop to make it think that there's a monitor plugged in. I've tested it on one of mine and it does 100% work. The only issue I had is that the Z390D doesn't give 8x and 8x speed. So what that means is... The next thing you have to have satisfied is that you have to have driver 470.05 for the 3060s. And that's it. Those, once those four things are satisfied, you should get the full hash rate of roughly around 46 for a 3060 12 gigabyte model. 
the one i have is a single fan design which i've shown you guys in a previous video um, the duo fan designs which uh, which probably have slightly faster memory some of them might work well but i've managed to this is my msi afterburner running there in the background and currently um driver 470.05 core clock minus 25 i just went off sorry um memory clock is plus 925 power limit 75 percent and temperature is 73 percent however my temperature never really goes above 64 and my room is quite warm so i'm assuming if you lived in a colder place or if you have a, a room that's colder than mine yours will probably be a lot less because with your 3060s well with mining in general it's not the core clock that you need to get high it's actually the memory and this whole pci express lane thing that nvidia has done for the 3060 it's just so that people don't buy the 3060 for mining but they buy their own mining cards or buy other stuff because the 3060s that was going to be i guess the saving grace for for gamers because it was it's such a cheap price and it's such a massive improvement over people coming from like I don't know the 1060 or the or the 960 thank you guys for watching i mean give me a sub if you're interested in seeing the journey on this i have loads of other stuff coming out as well at some point um but yeah thanks for watching give me a sub give me a like give me a share and i hope you guys join me again